Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Colour of the Wild, we're back at Tiawara. We're doing our Red Deer grind. I've had like eight or nine diamonds now. I'm about 300 kills in. It's going well. We've got another legendary respawn here. I'm not stacking my level nine Red Deers anymore. I'm just shooting them because I'm hoping that we get a level nine respawn and it's a super rare. That's what I'm mainly after at the moment. A great one would just be a bonus. A good bonus, but I'm after super rares mainly as priority. Now the last few days I've been thinking about refining my technique for grinding and trying new things. Because we're always trying to optimize our grinds and I was thinking the logic behind it. Now, what most people do recently is you shoot level sixes and above. You don't shoot fours and below. That's what a lot of people say. I was thinking about this. Really, you want the smallest red deer on the map as well. Basically, you don't normally have the really small ones. They're quite hard to get. And they're often rarer than legendaries, diamonds and such and such. So, I was thinking, how does that happen? How do you get level twos, for example? They don't spawn off sevens, do they? That doesn't make any sense to spawn off a seven or a six or something like that. So I was thinking, maybe if it's a three, and you shoot that, maybe it respawns as a three, a four, or a two. I can't see a three respawning as anything higher, like a seven, eight, nine, for example. So I tried this, and the first few I shot, next time I respawn and check my map again, I had twos. So I think it actually worked. So a lot of people don't, they say like, don't shoot fours or below because you want the low population. But how are you going to get those lower populations, uh, levels? So that's what I've been doing. And I've got twos now. So I've got twos all the way up to level nines on my map. And I'm hoping that works out and we get either diamonds or a great one spawn soon. By just shooting sevens or above now, I've got the lower levels on my map. That's the thinking. So, I've come to this location, and look at this. I thought it was my day. I really did. I thought, yes, look at that. It's a beauty. It's a mythical pie board. So close. I really did think I was getting a super rare today. It is beautiful, though. It's the best looking rack in the game. I love this mythical rack as well. So, we're definitely going to shoot this. I just don't know if I'm going to stick it in my lodge, because it's a mythical, but it looks so good. I know most people would, but I'm, I'm really strict about my trophies what I stick in my lodge. Also, I've got another idea I'm thinking about, and some people might do this already. But I was thinking, while I was thinking about the levels and trying to optimise my grind to get the best results, I was thinking, hold up a minute. When you look at some of the racks on these red deer, say you get a level 5, it's got a certain rack type. Then you see a level six, it's just a bigger version of that rack, if you know what I mean. So there's different varieties of racks, but as it goes up the levels, you see it's the same rack, so like seven, eight, nine. So I'm thinking, if you work out which racks are the best scorers, you only shoot that rack type. If you understand what I mean, maybe that works out really well. I know some people was on about this. I think Jax was on about this with Whitetail. Um, a few years ago but I'm just thinking a lot of the deers do have very similar racks at higher levels than like lower ones so maybe it's just a bigger version of that one so maybe if a six goes up to a seven and it's got that sort of rack goes up to seven it just gets bigger if it like goes up so if you target only certain racks which you know are going to go up to diamond or the great one rack maybe that will speed things up as well I've just been thinking about that the last few days, and uh, I think there might actually be something to that. be interesting to try it. So, if that does indeed work, imagine, say, like a level 6. Now, say you get a U-Bend rack, right? At its highest level of that rack, uh, on a level 9 legendary, often it only just makes diamond. Now... If it's on like the ultimate score, if you think about this logically, why would you shoot sixes with that rack, sevens with that rack, eights with that rack, or even maybe a legendary with that rack? Because it may not go to a great one. 
you may just have to get the biggest racks. So what I'd actually shoot if I'm going to test this method out, and I think I'm going to have a go at this, is only shoot with sevens with a big, nice, like V racks, because they look like they go up to the eights. The nines are the really high scorers with that sort of, they're the sort of high scoring racks. So maybe if you just shoot those sort of racks for the red deers, you may get diamonds quicker or even a great one quicker. There is a small rack for a great one and a big one. So maybe the U-Bend does go to the smaller one, I don't know. It's all a bit of thinking. It does want trialing, uh, testing out, and I think I'm actually gonna have a go at it. Just shoot certain racks and see what comes back with it. Uh, if we can do this and sort of like work it out, so we know that, imagine like what I was just saying, the U-Bend rack on say like a six, seven, eight, nine, if that doesn't go to sort of like a great one, then you just don't need to shoot them. You just shoot certain types of rack. So that would actually speed up your grind um, and get better results quicker. It's just a little bit of thinking. Like I say, I'm sure I remember Jackson Bear doing this with Whitetail with certain types of racks and he was shooting them. Um, so it would be interesting to try on Red Deer. I'm always up for a, a little uh, bit of trial and uh, testing and trying new things that keeps things fresh. And you never know, it may work. But the Red Deer grind is going well. We shot a legendary at the first. Uh, we shot the beautiful mythical piebald. And we just shot this legendary. Now, I didn't think this was going to go. Like I said, this was a sort of U-Bend style rack. But he's just scraped over. Look, you need 251 to get a diamond. And we got 25143. But that's a sort of like thick, chunky rack that only just makes it. And this is why I wanted to talk about it. But there, we just made diamond. But yeah, the main reason I wanted to do this video today to see what you think about this rack idea, shooting different racks and show you this piebald mythical because it's an absolutely stunning trophy. It's not a super rare, but it is what I want really, a super rare. It's not really a great one hunt we're going for, but if we get one, it's definitely a bonus. I won't say no to it. But this is where we've just shot that diamond. I'll probably go here next, here. I normally start from the left and then go all the way to the right and then down to the bottom on my rotation when hunting red deer on Tiawara. So today we've been grinding on Tiawara for red deer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.